Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time. If you are new, we are back to play some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time we played, it was epic, right? We pressed L3 and R3, and we accepted the truth. And I think we had our first, like, real boss fight of the game, uh, which was super fun. Um, and, and now we are fully embracing... Uh, ourself and our past, so it's very, very exciting. We are currently on the road with Jill, and we are gonna um, travel with her back to that little town we were at before, and we're gonna see where the story takes us from there. But other than that, uh, I think that's all I gotta say, so uh, before we jump into this, if you end up enjoying this gameplay, please leave a like on the video, it means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to support me outside of YouTube, consider checking out my Patreon, that is linked in the description down below, or any of my social media, that would be awesome as well. But, other than that, let's play some more Final Fantasy 16. 300 meters away. Oh, actually, can we go in this area over here now? Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Uh, Torgal, we're, we'll get there in a minute. I want to see if I can enter this little area. I guess not. Yeah. For some reason, I thought we could activate it. Never mind. Yo, if this town is, like, on fire. Okay, it looks intact. Oh, never mind, there's fire on the other side. What the heck, you guys? Bro. That's the yeah, shopkeeper I never bought anything from. Materials. You'll pay for this. Ah, we've got a live one. What are you doing here? Answer me. Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? Probably our mom. Because <laughs> she sucks. People, what about that guy, the old guy? Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? You're a born slave, and you'll die one. Oh, oh that's good. Two cultocks. Two cultocks. They were innocent people. Many of them to kill. 
Stay down! Where's the old man? And the lady. I forgot the lady. We killed her husband back in the... Oh, okay, this guy's... All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! Of course it's her. We hate that lady. My mother ordered this. Experience? Did I get anything? Uh, just some crafting materials. Oh, the nice lady that gave us clothes. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. <coughs> you deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. <laughs> That's sad. That lady was nice to us. Ah, oh, we're too late, Gav. Clive. Hey. on the orders of the Duchess, eh? She must have heard we were the back. East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. Yeah, she sucks. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. She was jealous. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. It's a message. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. 
Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oh, the other guys can do this. Oi! They'll make sure they're peacefully put to rest. And I leave you's lot to take care of things here. Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Oh. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Who are you? Lord Kupka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Were you in on this, you rat bastard? Probably. Okay, it's the only place we can go. Wrongs. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. Just taking a quick breather. Is there anything worth going in this room for? Just sick We're people. Low on gig and toe oil and curial greens. Should I put an order in with later? Sid, let us join your squad. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? <coughs> I don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. Nope. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me... To kill yourself? <laughs> ...that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. Facts, let's so, go. That's all went then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> Jill doesn't weigh a lot, so that's fine. <laughs> well then, <laughs> with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> One 
What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. And pay a visit to Mother. Rad. Let's go kill her. She's the worst. of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. Hello, sir. You just gonna chill back there? <coughs> Your radiance? Oh, it's you. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, Not anymore. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? Pray tell. But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. Less people to feed. The Empire bleeds, <laughs> and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Uh, Radiance! Or just like mean a war of the ones you have already is fine. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? Games. What of our legion? Shall we raise the first? Well, a tournament of sorts. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. <laughs> He's just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with all the bureaucratic stuff. Just go to war and... The inform me of the progress garrison to the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, okay. not today. Okay, explain further. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? 
I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. That's how easily they draw all the land. How much ether can be drawn by something that size? As to where it's all going, mind. Well, I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Says they didn't. Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom exactly? The higher ups, the gods themselves. <sighs> I assume we'll find out. <laughs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? Blow them up. And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I mean, yeah, we got nothing else to do. It's a Tuesday. We ain't got nothing going on Tuesdays. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> Jill, stab that crystal too. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. New quests nearby. Hell yeah. Friggin' love new quests. Oh, now new crafting stuff is available. Can I craft things? Can I see I'm busy here? What's saying for you, dear? Flame tongue. That thing's bitchin'. Is Stormcry the weapon I'm using right now? No, I'm using Invictus. Fine. Well, what do you want? Okay, well that thing is much better. No scratches, all right? Anything else? No, nope, thank you. Speaking of Oriflam. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint tie is Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. Sure, whoever that is, we'll go see him.
Hello, Glenn. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't so be that bad. Every surely. letter you have fell out, and you how could, how could you not notice? <laughs> I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Oh, we'll get those Most easy. Of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. I don't know if they'll do that. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <sighs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Yeah, oh, and should be hurry, easy. Will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Wanted to send a message. Do do um, world map. Traveled Orbal Downs. Oh damn, man! We got hella quests here. Or it's just all one quest. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. <laughs> Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. the lost supplies. It's everything. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. Hey, lady. You steal a letter? A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Let me know. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which We're just gonna go? hunt down a random dog with Maybe paper in it? Swing? Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> travel to the obelisk. Speed travel. No one can travel as fast as I can. Oh, yeah. Did Master Quentin summon you? The shad's all salted and smoked. Hello, puppy. You 
here. It seems we have a culprit. Ugly dog. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. And he's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Such a big world to explore. All right, Glenn, you're lucky I did your job for you. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Maybe I should just own up. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. <clears throat> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. Ooh. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keep Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here your troubles thank you sir if there's anything you're wanting from Sid today's the day you'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this red letter day Hello, sir. Where are you, Randall? He died. He's super dead. All right. Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend. You see, he left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is. Our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? Yep, super good at killing it people. Was. Then, I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Yeah. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. That's easy He's enough. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Wow. Lost twing. Here we go. But how did the grocer know his daughter? Friend, are you here? You got anything Any to sell? The innkeeper is a friend of mine. 
all your stuff sucks. 40,000. I have enough guilt for that. Good day. But I'm not gonna buy it. Quentin. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. Yes, it is. Where is our friend? For what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. <clears throat> he was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. We got you. Alright, where is he? 200 meters away. Um, and yeah, we can't fast travel there, so we just gotta run. Sun's setting fast. And the easiest way is up to that gate up there. Friend, where are you? Hey, dude. Are you all right? Dang it, man. <laughs> he does not Thank look all right. Gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. We're coming for your Randall. Oi. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? Easy enough to kill this guy. <clears throat> Enemy slain. A bone necklace. Incredible. Goes up to wherever. Yeah, that, that place. 
Randall, are you okay, bruv? Oh no, that guy's dead as hell. Randy. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. That's not good. Quentin, your helper's dead. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Hey, he known him long? was just trying to do his job. A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work, and he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Thank you. What did we get? Okay. Nothing too crazy. through with it. Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Yeah. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. <laughs> that just a bag of money. gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a stylus in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? I don't know what you mean. Right. Don't go blind and over your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Who's that guy? Alliant reports unlocked? Okay. Alliant reports are now available. Do do speak to whatever. 
how currently so this is how I find out about, find out about quests around suppose the, that's everything around the nation to find Gav. <laughs> speak to me oh you're the new lad aren't you yes goat at your service well at the hideaway service anyway Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers or any other willing volunteers and there's no shortage of problems I can tell you <laughs> well maybe I don't have to I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go anyway if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list just say the word I am very interested. Reckon you could probably tick <clears throat> off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Give me all of them. Here you go. Doo -doo. Do I have to like go there? Them available. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the main quest. But at least knowing those quests are now on the map is good. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. <laughs> 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 Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. Sounds good to me. To get the heck out of Dodge. Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Except for Gav. See, I, I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Oh, I could. Easy. Let's try not yeah. to find out. That'd be Less likely to absolute be cash. Not a problem at all. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Wing. So, we're meeting in Northridge. How do we... Oh, never mind. I was like, how do we get there? <laughs> but we can... Travel to certain obelisks. Can't climb up there. There. Northry. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. But that was north of a checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. The 
Six dollars, baby, let's go. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. The fruit's not getting any fresher. Do you see anything you like? Um... Nothing really. 50,000. Christ. Might as well sell. Eh, I'll keep the Invictus for now. Don't and a have. fine, fine day to you. Hello. could afford even that much of my time branded you kind of cute my mistake no mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you the flowers Otto always did know how to please me more than Sid ever did anyway huh? do you think you could please me Clive you're the dame. And yes, we could please Let you. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Indubitably. You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. It seems to be a thing that he does. Without it. For cute ladies. I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> we pretend Unless, to work course. for her. His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Yeah, what are we doing? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. Okay, but we can but pretend. It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Bodyguard. Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Huh. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. What? <sighs> I 
Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. I'm gonna kill you later. I'm coming back here, I'm cutting your head off. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Hmm. What is our arrangement? Like, Doesn't seem like I have what, much What am I going to do for you? Anything cool around here? Let's explore this little town. Any cool stuff? Hotter, you bleeding shit of a bearer! Oi, how do I get out there? Royal Meadows. Okay, there's a random merchant way over there. Doesn't seem like anything too valuable is here. Okay. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Who? This girl? Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Eh. <laughs> Shall I have one of the girls? Don't know about us? her. That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Wow. It's amazing. Super cool. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. <laughs> you, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I... Help her finish. Keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Seal obtained. What does that do for us? Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Hmm. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. 
Brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. Chambermate. Like her roommate? So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Huh? I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She didn't mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Who? Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatien, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. That's suspect. He's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something. Excuse me, you there? I'll help you later, dude. It's not been half the moon since fell in the Heard the bones fell favorably. To the I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. Rude. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Y y Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Where is the last war? village on the road to Oriflam? that this thing I should let Isabel know where I'm headed Clive tell me you bear good tidings that remains to be seen Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Yeah. Isn't that what you want? And then we're gonna go kill him. Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. 
There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Okay, sounds good. Damn, now that I got into this place, there's so many side quests available. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one has been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. Okay. If you seek him out, keep your head down. The fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Oh, we're gonna cause some fights. Hey, punk. What do you want? I want... Stuff. Good riddance. I'll kill you. We weren't expecting oh. any branded until the new moon. You don't think it's a deserter, do you? Kill all of you. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Where is he? Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Oh, he stole Said it. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But that's that comb that girl's looking for. An antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. All right, weirdo. Oh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. Okay. Uh, just up to the left. Is there anything up here? Like, does going up here do anything for us? Is it just a, a part of the map I haven't unlocked yet? I kind of want to just check out what's up here. Probably bring us up here eventually. OK. 
Okay, off to the ruins we go. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. That's enough. Bloated wolves. dollars for killing those guys oh damn it all bodies shoot I'm a... the soldier and the lady both dead well the wolves have been busy but the blood is long dry so the wolves didn't kill them someone else did So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things. I have. We both found who we were searching for. Well, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. Except it was a gift. Nice old talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He's married. And bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Yeah, why not? I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. That's a bummer. Was it the wolves that killed her then? Because he said the blood was, was long dry. It was a message that needed delivering on. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then? Unfortunately. My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. 
Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. It's a bummer. Fifteen hundred dollars. Dang, girl. Thank you. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Yeah, we already knew that. Did he mention the same thing? Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Good to know. <laughs> Good boy. All right, now we can probably do do a couple Another side quests. In the field yesterday. Um, I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. You think she's lost? I will, yeah. I can't promise I'll find her, but she's beautiful, white hair, and she likes walking in the wheat. Oh, she must be starving too. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Let's find that thing. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Hey, lady. You work these fields? Hmm. A branded. Why should I help you? Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Chloe, is it? Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's... Okay. Go to the windmills. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. I will beat you to death. You dumb racist butthole. Chloe? What you barking at, dog? Uh. More brown than white. Is that? That's a body. Someone napping on the job. Is that the? I hope they don't mind the interruption. Is that Chloe, the pet that we're supposed to find for the little girl? The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? Racist little girl. Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. Oh, all your it could be pets are named Chloe? Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was? You're to an you? awful child. A plaything. Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? That's what dead means. The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Yeah, they super do. 
parents, they'd give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... You should feel sad. I thought we was looking for a dog. Or like a chocobo. Not a person. All you guys suck. Uh, we'll, we'll get this one and then... And then do the main quest. Ah, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. You and me. You, branded. Here, now. What do you want? You're late. Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? Well, don't just... Fine, I'm not your guy, right. though. My. He's over that way. Towards the coast. Freaking fine, dude. I don't know who I'm hunting. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. It's, it's, Something's not right here. Yeah. This I is. need to be careful. This is a test. The wolf! It's going to eat me! This is if a, I can help a it. test or a trap or something. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Stay down. Easy. No, you are supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. <laughs> Father will have you whip for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. But what, what is the heck? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. You're a shitty fun. little child. Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. <laughs> you killed your pet. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Let's go kill that guy. Someone needs to put an end to this. Before it happens again. son you slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return head held high it's a wolf, wolf you were... was trained <laughs> better trained by far than your worthless kind i'm super well trained you are the entertainment How dare you? nothing more and we are most certainly not entertained nor am i you'll pay for what you've done see I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? No. How We're gonna dare kill you. you. Deceive me. Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. We answer to God. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! <laughs> Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Yeah, Shut your we're mouth working on it. We're gonna Those get rid of you killed. They were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. Good. How dare you threaten us? 
How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Hopefully that wolf kills you instead. Can we just fight this guy? I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? At least two. And that's far too many. All victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. burden finally be lifted I take it you slew the nobleman's pet you're damn I right did. oh I expect they'll find another soon enough and when it gets here more bearers will die how can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter simple because you are not them bearers are tools when they're needed and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Let's go! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. Nice. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. Thank you. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Good. I'm happy those people died. dead bodies. Let me in! Had another brandy truck in the field. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. I knew it would bring us back up to this chapel eventually.
Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Where, where, where's the back door? building <laughs> they're both uncomfortable chill, and Sid's chill. like chill <laughs> A safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. <laughs> really? Doesn't seem very private. So then. How do we proceed? We'll be using Wait until nightfall. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's he just graded. Say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but that's not important. <laughs> Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight. If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say he is. He did his research. If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? They just they're think they're better. For a broken mug. A torn tunic. Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Who cares about them? Oh, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. I was born ready.
<laughs> Let's do some side quests first. Let's find this cat. What's happened? It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think that when I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should... All right. Oh, thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Well, let's do this. Ha! <laughs> Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Thought there'd be gold back here? Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say Didn't we look at you when we <laughs> pulled it out. Get him, lads. I won that place. Let's get this over with. It's over. Wake, wind! Sorry, Martha, we uh, destroyed some of your tables. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is, the hero of the Golden Stables. You will welcome. think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. I wasn't nearby, I was halfway across the country. The cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I could. Luckily, these guys course. waited. <laughs> but you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. Thank you. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. Bangarang. That was an easy side quest. There he is. Swing, do these side quests. I'm just doing all these side quests before I move on. Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. I am indeed. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? You look just like the soldier that from that other town. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably so. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting up. So I just have to talk to these people. Hey guys. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. 
That won't be long. You stay here and rest. Yeah, stay on this bench. Not like a bed or anything. But how did the grocer know his daughter? Can I have another cup? I'll have two plates. Of Sorry, we've enough ma. It's not for me. Oh, my apologies. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. That's really all it takes. Of course it is. I do. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Keep them some bread. Bread and wine. Hopefully, this will be enough. Tell me. Turn it for some. Brother, did you see? That bearer spoke to a master. How the hell could she have seen that from 85 miles away? Yeah. And behind a wall. Bread and wine from the tavern. Boom. May we? Truly? You have to give me a piece, though. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat, and no one shouted. We ate, and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. You gotta got pull your Next weight, though. You're hungry. You need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. What happens to us now? Okay, one more quest here. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Emil, what do you what do you need, brother? I got you. I I, I want. Wait, wait, that's. Ah, oh, if you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard. And you need someone to solve your. I do indeed. Yeah, we'll kill those guys. I've never seen them so. I suppose the smells got them worked up. I'm little wonder. This will be the fine. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the light. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Please, rid us. All right. Easy buckets. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at. The None of these side quests give me any money. Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. It's probably gonna end up being more than a couple wasps.
I'm over here. <laughs> Probably set half these grapes on fire, though. <laughs> Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's man. Quentin, we did what you needed. Did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off? Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you, Master Quint. What's my reward? Our Gotan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use the vineyards for Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to... Well, he said... I'll see that he hears of your kindness. Um... Bangarang. 16 experience points and some black blood. Okay. I think we shall generally leave it there. Got a couple more side quests to complete over there. But I think other than that, we're pretty much done. Oh yeah, all these are in the actual town itself. Are you gonna buy something or not? That's the day done then. Drinks and the veil. How about the veil then drinks? Okay, we have our next uh, heading. We are gonna sneak into the capital uh, and uh, do something. I forgot exactly what we're gonna do in the capital. Uh, something to do with the mother crystal. I think we're gonna try and destroy the mother crystal or break it down or something. Uh, or that's the one of the bigger goals at least. But yeah, we, uh, we got back to our little town and all the people got killed because of our mom. She sucks. Uh, and so we're gonna hopefully kill her by the end of the game <laughs> if she doesn't die i'm gonna be so mad um but that caused us to like officially join sid's little rebellion which is good um so we're like fully in the cause now and opened up all these side quests that we did a couple of them were very annoying <laughs> not because they were bad or anything but because of the specific characters in them the, like the little girl she just like forced her bearers to keep doing magic and considered them a pet and then it, she didn't care that they died um well she cared at the end but like that sucked and then that the nobleman and his kid that like hire bearers to go fight the wolf that he trained <laughs> like and it's just entertainment for them to die and it's like bro <laughs> Like, these people are the worst. Every single time these people talk to me, I want to just murder them. <laughs> like, they're awful. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're, we're on our way. We're on our way. We're going we're gonna to complete a little bit more of the quest, quest lines next time. 
Um, I think we got a couple side quests in this town, and then we'll be caught up on all the side quests, and then we can progress in the story. Because every, every time it's like, hey, if you, uh, like a pivotal point in the story is coming, like if you do this, you can't go back. I'm like, okay, frick, well then I'm going to complete every side quest possible before I go do this, just in case I can't access them later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's important to me. I want to complete all these things. Um, so that's what we'll do next time. Um, if you enjoyed this gameplay, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel grow. If you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you're interested in supporting me outside of YouTube, consider checking out my Patreon. That is linked in the description down below. Or consider following me on any of my social media. But other than that, Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.